Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will be teaching you about arrow functions in JavaScript. So what is an arrow function? Basically, an arrow function works totally the same way as a normal function. So why am I teaching you an arrow function if both the function works the same way? But trust me, an arrow function is not useless. The way I am teaching you arrow functions is because an arrow function is the quickest and easy way to write a function. For example, if I just type in out a normal function, normal function or the traditional way to write a function. So traditional way to write a function. So I will just write it out here function keyword name of function round brackets or parentheses and curly brackets and the body of the function or the code that I want to be executed this is a normal function or the traditional way to declare a function to so call out the function here so this is the traditional way to write a function but what if I want to do the same shit using an arrow function so for that to declare an arrow function we don't use the function keyword instead we declare a variable or a constant for example constant and the name of the constant would be arrow function okay and equals round brackets or parenthesis and arrow and console because I want to print out something on my console this is an arrow function and I will call out the function see in an arrow function the name which you give a variable or the constant you declare will be the name of the function so I will just call it out here arrow function okay. see it is totally working fine so the difference between an arrow function or the traditional way of declaring a function is that in an arrow function it is the quickest and easy way to write a function okay so let's just add some numbers using the arrow function so for that I will declare a constant const the addition addition and I equals and I will declare two parameters and one comma and two and arrow curly bracket curly brackets so I want my values to be stored in a variable so I want my parameters to be stored in a variable so let result equals and one plus and two and console dot log result okay I will just call out the function addition wait a second I have not passed out the argument in my arrow functions so I will just write in my argument so 2 and 3 see it totally works fine an arrow function works totally the same way as a normal function so my arguments have been passed out to the parameters so these values have been assigned here to the n1 and n2 so let's just use the return statement on my arrow function so I will just comment this console out and return result semicolon see the moment I type in the return statement so the control of the function is transferred back to the function call so the control is here now in the function call 
So in order to access this function call or the values inside the function call, I need to store it in a variable. So let output equals and I will just console dot it out console dot dot the sum of n1 plus n2 is output c5 you can even call out the arrow functions once again but you just have to change the name of the variable so i will just change it to output2 and console.log once again i will just change out my statement the value of output to is two. output two see five but what if i just change out the values to three So it works totally the same way as a normal function. The only difference is that it is more convenient to write an error function. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.